The hype is real, my friends. It's real. Verhunga Savannah. The new African Reserve coming to call the wild, and we have now seen it live from our good friends of Expansive Worlds in their current development build. So today we're going to take a look at it. We're going to show off the animals that they showed to us in case you missed it. We're going to take a look at some gameplay. We're going to show off the new weapon. <laughs> Our new bone stick. We're going to show you the animals. Uh, man, the gameplay. J you know what? Let's just get to this, guys. No more wasting time. Oh, I'm busted over here. Now, before we start looking at these beautiful creatures you see popping up on your screen, let's get a question answered that everybody is asking. When can we expect this glorious reserve? Let's hear what the boys had to say about that one. We're aiming for a sim launch on all platforms, roughly within a month. Thank you, Phil, but I do believe Graham's got something to add to that. Let's check it out. It's going to be coming to all platforms simultaneously, unless something terrible happens and something explodes, um, within the next month. So you're not going to have to wait too long to launch. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, Phil. Now we're going to look at the map. Take a look at this, my friends. We'll zoom her in a little bit. The map itself may be deceiving at first, but it is quite a large reserve, very comparable to what we already have. The deception lies in the fact that there's not as many regions. They've condensed it. They've got, they've got less regions, which makes it actually, at first glance, seem small. But I can guarantee you, after watching their stream and seeing the gameplay, it is quite a large size. It looks like we'll have an awful lot to do, and that is fantastic. But let's get a better feel for the landscape of this glorious map. As you can see, as they were moving around the stream, the audience was captivated. Take a look at this sprawling landscape, the savanna in its glory. Now there is cover to be had out there. As you can see, there is trees that we should be able to work with in order to avoid all those eyes that we may not want on us of the Cape Buffalo. Uh, but there's waterways, there'll be feeding zones, need zones, all the watering holes will be present and obviously a big spot of attraction. But on top of that, as you can see, there's cliffs, mountainous regions. There's a little uh, something up in the top there. It looks like a little bridge. We might have to go and explore that. But look at the views, my friend. This map continues to deliver to our high expectations. I cannot wait to see what sort of animals we may find, or is it going to be lore up in these hills? The new Safari Gear, oh, I get a Tilly, and the 470 Nitro Express, baby. Don't worry, my friends, when we hit Africa, we will not be stuck in the old drive gear. We will have something shiny and new. Now, keep in mind, this is a work in progress. It is a placeholder for an avatar, but it gives us a really good feeling on what it is we can expect to see. We get the old fashionable Tilly. We got the old hunting scarf, the short sleeve so we don't overheat, but we got the good boots and the old pants. We should blend in nicely. Now let's talk about our bread and butter, the one thing we're all really excited for. At least this guy is my boomstick. The 470 Nitro Express. This thing's gonna pack a punch. Enough to drop a Cape Buffalo and uh, perhaps a bison over on Hirsch. And who knows, we might even be able to use it on a moose. That's gonna be left to be seen. But this gun comes with a whole lot of bang, has some incredible sound. Uh, let's just hear it in action here. And then it stops reverb. <laughs> That's gonna spook everything in the reserve every time you pull the trigger. This thing's off the hook and by far the biggest weapon we've had to date in Call of the Wild. I can't wait to get my paws on it. But for 125k, start saving. Now we're gonna quickly take a look at the zeroing. It's really impressive what they've done here. As you can see, he's on the iron sights, and as he tabs his zeroing, he moves it. You can see the little lettering right there. Oh, that is something else. I, I just can't say enough good things about what I've seen about what they're doing here with this weapon. Now on to the animals. Springbok. Now if you watched my last video or if you talked with me in Discord, this is an animal I'm really excited about and it's how we're gonna hunt them. Take a look at these. First off, 
very pretty. They just have this look about them. It's amazing. But look at the move, the springing motion, which they are aptly named for. They will jump six feet in the air. Now, during this gameplay, they revealed that they were using the 243 on them and getting full integrity. So these guys should be a whole lot of fun. And although they may be a little bit small, I think they'll be a big challenge. Scrub hair. Now, as you can see, these little guys are very reminiscent of the rabbits we've had added recently to Layton, with a bit of a difference in their ears. Uh, they're going to be very hard to spot moving around in these grassy plains, but they should give us a challenge. A little fodder for the 22. Always a nice little diversion. Lesser Kudu. I have a feeling these are going to become a favorite for many to hunt as they are very elusive, much like a white tail is. They're gorgeous to look at with the stripes on their body and their horns are absolutely incredible. With the two and a half twists going up, oh man. Now as Graham found this when he started moving in, it became alert. It was very skittish. <laughs> They're going to be very elusive to hunt. But he took a shot from afar with the 470. Dropped it as you would. <laughs> a little bit overkill. That is not the caliber needed for integrity. It would be, I believe, a 270, but they would not divulge that. But look at the markings. It is an absolutely gorgeous animal. This is only a two minor, and, and look at the horns. Just incredible. Now let's take a look at this harvest screen and get a closer look. I mean, that is just fantastic. Very, very nice. I would say these guys probably go up to level five, much as what the black tails do, but I cannot confirm that as of yet. Still, a very, very good looking animal. I can't wait to hunt this. Side Stripe Jackal. Originally, I thought these guys were gonna look an awful lot like a fox just because of the weight that's listed on them. However, they're more akin to a coyote. They go up to level five, as you can see here. Being a four at gold, we can expect to see diamonds at level five. Kind of interesting, but it's a great animation. Uh, the modeling looks great. They, they seem like they will actually be a whole lot of fun. The 243 is ethical, so it's gonna be a lot like the coyote. I think these guys will be a nice little distraction when we're not killing all the Cape Buffaloes. <laughs> Warthog. Here we have a number of the Warthog traveling together, migrating, if you will. It's kind of a cool feature. I'm very happy to see it. I love the animations of them. Taking a closer look at the animation, the, the modeling is great. I mean, look at the tusks on these things. The hair stands up. They're very great to look at. I'm kind of excited about it. They're very reminiscent of a boar, but a little bit longer. Nonetheless, I really enjoy hunting the boar. I, I think these guys are a great addition to this map. I think they'll be a whole lot of fun. Wildebeest. Oh, I'm excited for these wildebeest. They look fantastic. Now, I believe uh, 7 mil, possibly a 270. However, they did speculate that Graham had mentioned a 270 or a 338. And Phil had agreed something along those lines. So they were being a little cryptic about it. And I can't blame them. We'll find out soon enough. Now, these things look fantastic. Imagine this as a diamond. Look at the horns. They should get really big. I'm pretty impressed. I got to say, I'm really happy with the modeling on these. I think that it's a great addition to this map. I can't wait to see them face to face at the end of my rifle, at the end of my scope for that matter. Now, there was one interaction here that really drew my attention. As you'll notice, this wildebeest got spooked by the warthogs. That's pretty cool. I hope that is a mechanic and not just by chance. Cape Buffalo. Well, I've saved the best for last, at least in my opinion. AKA the Black Death, these things are massive. Extremely aggressive, they will lie in wait after they're wounded or if they're spooked. So you gotta be careful when you go into the bush. Make sure that your Nitro Express is fully loaded and ready to go. It's because of these bad boys and girls that we got the new Nitro Express. Just imagine what these are gonna look like as a diamond. Oh, yeah. Now, one more question about the animals. Uh, will new animals have rare fur types? Yes, they will. Um, again, with this one, we leave it open to you guys to explore that a little bit more. We don't mm. want to spoil everything. But we want to see them in social media. Yes, yeah. definitely. If you find the good ones, sure. then do post them. There's definitely some feedings. Yeah, we don't can play enough to be able to see them. We don't have enough time. Yeah. <laughs> We're too busy talking to you guys on the internet. So please show us. 
Yeah, we want to see them. So as they mentioned right there, when we do get this new addition to the game, my friends, make sure any of the rares you get, and I would assume even the diamonds, at least for the first little while, tag them on social media, on the Twitter, or post them to their Facebook page. I feel the need to mention one more time that this is an early development build. There could be changes at any particular point in time between now and release. What you've seen here was given to us as a sneak peek and is not to be taken as the end result. It is an early development build. And I would like to thank Expansive Worlds for giving us the opportunity today to watch them live as they revealed this map to the world. And we all now know where we're going to be spending our time in the savannas of Africa. Thank you very much, Graham, Phil, and Tree Kiwi. You guys did an amazing job. It was a pleasure to be part of it there today, watching from the live stream. And I just can't wait to see what the future holds in store for this glorious game. I would like to thank you, the viewer, for taking the time out of your busy day to come and join us for this beautiful sneak peek. I'd also like to thank you for all of the support that you guys have been showering upon this channel and our community. And if you'd like to be part of that, make sure to hit the links down below come and join the discord it's absolutely fantastic do all the stuff that's popping up on the stream don't forget to like the video do it with two hats if you gotta and if you're new here hit the subscribe tag the little bell beside it and i'll see you guys in discord or on our live streams every tuesday and thursday at 4 p.m pacific standard time all right yes sir